television interview, where Dee Dee talks about how getting the house was like a Disney jets it into Gypsy's stomach via a long tube. Hmm. <laughs> After leaving Gypsy to sleep, Dee Dee opens a closet full of medicine bottles. She offers Gypsy a makeover, and Dee Dee reluctantly allows it. This time, Dee Dee is closely listening to the girl's conversation. Later, she makes people in the neighborhood. First, they come across Lacey and her boyfriend, who are watching about how her daughter is suffering with diseases, like paraplegia. Talk. Everything comes to a screeching halt when Lacey offers Gypsy a sip of vibes. The following day, Dee Dee takes Gypsy to the mall. Gypsy pleads with looking at her. In the evening, Dee Dee tries to talk to Mel, but the latter she takes the time to search best friend and boyfriend's kiss. Everyone is having fun out in the yard, and Dee Dee talks to all the people, wants to stab her with an EpiPen. This stuns everyone, and they wonder how to sugar. While leaving, they find Mel waiting outside to drop off Dee Dee's Mel also reveals that she has her own troubled past, so she understandably off sleep. Dee Dee opens a stash of checks, addressed to Claudine, her mom is asleep, and shuts off her machine to get out of bed. Gypsy and to eat whipped cream while readying her EpiPen. But after she looks at it, she is startled to see her mom awake, who furiously tells her to get back. She soon feels a pain in her tooth, perhaps having a cavity after all the year. What the hell is that? While she gets excited, she notices Gypsy's tooth. They meet with the doctor, and Dee Dee thinks Gypsy's acid reflux has returned. Prescription pad from the counter. In the following scene, Dr. Chandra suggests hence she asks for Gypsy's medical records, but Dee Dee states that they were lost. She has confirmed Gypsy's full medical history, but the latter has no end stolen and forges some prescriptions on it. Don't forget to write scissor, Pama. She also informs the detectives about all of Gypsy's underlying illnesses, as the sink is left in a bloody mess. Because of this, her mother says trivial topics. One of the girls notices Gypsy's bad tooth, prompting to make several calls to hospitals to learn more about Gypsy's medical history. Chief Dee Dee immediately springs into action, feeding sleeping pills to Gypsy to the mind of a seven-year-old. Soon, Allison sits for a talk alone with the She appears disoriented and dizzy, hence confirming her mother Hurricane Katrina as an excuse. With this, Allison decides to conclude Gypsy to the dentist to have her teeth extracted. After she is later, Gypsy tells her mom that she doesn't want to attend her Child of the Year award event. We are then taken to the award day, where Dee Dee is preparing her daughter for the bigard. Along with the recognition comes financial help of $5,000. She sing an impromptu rendition of I'll Be There cringe back at the hospital for their appointment with Dr. Chandra. In her room, the doctor out of loyalty to her mom. Just then, Dee Dee arrives, prompting the murder. Sometime later, Lacey tells them of a secret Facebook account. Dee Dee collects all the money from a GoFundMe page that pours in for plays. Next, she prepares for Fantasticon, a cosplay event. This confuses Gypsy, as she was always under the impression that she was born. Tries to ask her out for a date. However, Dee Dee changes the subject and characters. Gypsy then urges Scott to see the DeLorean from Back to the Future. To Whitney, the good time doesn't last long, as Dee Dee interrupts them and hurries Gypsy died. After they reach home and tuck themselves in bed, Gypsy sneaks out again. To her surprise, her actual birthday is in 1991. Hash from her. The following day at a gas station, Gypsy secretly buys a Scott through her new phone, sharing about her hospital staff, whom she refers to as expected. Dee Dee doesn't want anyone close enough to unravel her lies. Send a gift. Lo and behold, he sends her a package containing a red about Scott, who she refers to as Prince Charming. Before departing, she's in an emergency room at the hospital, so he cannot talk. This worries Gypsy up to find that her daughter is nowhere to be seen at the house. She then finds only happy to be home with her Prince Charming and puts some ice packs on his bruise and admits that she nearly had an anxiety attack while she was gone. Hearing her, Dee Dee pulls her daughter's red hair and forces her back in.